Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, I'm so well. I'm thrilled to have you. I'm giddy with excitement. I'm such a big fan. And I'm thrilled to notice and hear that you're actually in London. So you're on the very same soil as ourselves because we're in Islington <laughs> in North London. <laughs> yes, Mark. I'm Which, not far. No, you're not far. Uh, actually, so you're um, at a studio. Uh, first of all, actually, um, the UK, how have you found uh, Britain? Do you like Britain? I know you've performed here uh, on many occasions. How do you find British crowds? Oh, I love the Brits. Yeah. Because there's, they're fun. They're cheeky. They're I love. I adore them, and they have a good sense of humor, which is, of course, you know that. So they keep me laughing. Well, I'm 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 so glad to hear it. Now you're here because uh, I mean you're you're um, a very very prolific artist, and you are. Uh, we're here to talk about the new single "Troubles Lament." And uh, it's all part of your new album. It's a track from your new album, Unrepentant Geraldines, which is coming out on May the 12th on Mercury Classics. There's a world tour, including Europe, North America, South Africa, from May to... Well, that's May to August. That's a lot of traveling in a very short period of time. Yes. But altogether, they're going to be about 80 shows once we're, once we're done. Um, and I love to play. I love to play for people... And the audiences are so incredible. They give so much. They ask, they have requests. They ask me to do songs that maybe I haven't thought of doing. And uh, they tell me at the stage door. So each night we try and make it different. Right. Each show is somewhat different. And we're starting the whole thing in Ireland and then coming to the UK in May. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, tell us about um, this this new track and also Unrepentant Geraldine's because um, you always, you know, experiment, you always challenge yourself. You, you definitely always come out of your comfort zone as an artist. So um, I, I understand there's a certain sort of southern blues quality to this, uh, certainly to this track. And is that true of the album as, as a whole? Well, I think the album is exploring different styles. Um this track, though, Trouble's Lament, very much has that southern blues feel. And uh, I was I was born in North Carolina, and there was, um, I guess my husband was playing my daughter, she's a teenager, some Stevie Ray Vaughan records. And I don't know if you know that blues guitar playing, but it right. might have seeped in through my bones and reminded me of my early years. So this this song is about a, a girl, a young woman called Trouble, who's running away from Satan, but possibly into the arms of danger. And that's that's the story. And clearly, clearly, uh, you know, Satan, this is obviously a very emotive uh, persona or character. And, and clearly, uh, Satan, I, I guess, a metaphor for fear somehow and the instilling of fear in others by whether it be an, an overbearing parent or a teacher or a religious figure or something like that whatever whoever it is they seem to have very long arms <laughs> and and yes she's on the run whether she she knows too much or she knows she's she's in over her head and we've all been trouble we've all been that person who who realized we have got to get out of here and mm. so um i'm telling the story as the narrator and I've I've been that girl though. I've been trouble, and I see her when I walk the streets in different cities. I see her in a lot of young women and, and some young men. I must say. Yeah, yeah. Well, since I was two and a half, I was playing it, and I realized this was a friend. It's my first language. Um, I'd say to you that. I trust it, really trust it, more than I almost trust anything in the world. And I I go to it to understand what I'm feeling and thinking. So it's a dear friend, and um, it's never let me down or betrayed me. So I'm very loyal to it, and I've been trying to find different collaborators, so how it works with guitars, how it works with strings, how it works with drums. Mm. And those collaborations have been really inspiring and then take me to another um, way of making music, 